Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a complete guide on how to play Enzo. In this video, I will be explaining all the basic abilities of Enzo and also I will be giving you some tips on how to play him and some advanced combos that you can do on him. Now Enzo is among the more complicated heroes in the game and he is also one of the hardest to play. So if you are interested in learning Enzo and mastering him, make sure to watch the video till the end. I am sure there are a lot of useful tips for you. Now with all that out of the way, let's get right into the tutorial. Even though Enzo is a melee hero, his normal attacks have a very long range. He also deals 35% additional damage to enemies who are standing very far away. So as you can see here, when I attack the sage buff from far away, I dealt 1140 damage but when I got close, I deal only 850. Now this is very important because it's 35% additional damage and in the late game it will be a game changer because Enzo deals a lot more damage than other heroes with the same build. So try to attack your enemies from as much range as possible. So again as you can see here when we are attacking from far away we deal 400 damage to Thane but when we go close we deal only 350. There is also another benefit if you use these ranged attacks and that is, Enzo also gets a slight movement speed increase. Enzo dashes forward and increases his attack damage for a short period of time. Depending upon the level of that ability, Enzo's damage increase will increase and also the movement speed that he gets from the ranged attack also increases. This ability can also be used to go through walls and it even adds more damage to the already increased damage from Enzo's passive. This ability also has another form which I will explain later in this video. This is the most important ability for Enzo. Enzo swings his torture tools and increases his movement speed. You have to hold your S2 to start swinging and when you release it, Enzo will throw his torture tools and the first enemy who gets hit by it will be judged. While swinging, if you cancel the ability, half of the cooldown will be returned. Now let me tell you guys what judging a target means. If Enzo throws his second ability and it hits an enemy hero, he locks onto them with these chains and he can use his first ability, second ability and third ability but these abilities have different things that they do now. So you have to hold the ability in order to throw it and the longer you hold it, the farther Enzo will throw his chains. Also, if your second ability lands on an enemy hero, two circles appear around you. I'll tell you what these circles do later in the video. The third ability of Enzo only becomes available if you throw your second ability and it lands on a target. So just like I told you guys, if you manage to use your chain on a target, the other abilities of Enzo also gets enhanced. So, if you use your first ability, when you have a target locked down with your chains, you will slightly pull that target towards you. This pulling mechanism also works as a stun. So you can use this to stop heroes from using abilities such as Dio-chan's ultimate or Alistair's ultimate. You should also note that Enzo also has his increased attack damage from his S1 whenever he uses it on a judged target. Enzo's second ability has a really cool mechanism when you use it on a target whom you have chained. Enzo pulls the target and tosses him above his head and puts him behind him. So previously in the video, I told you about these two circles that appear when Enzo uses his second ability right. And this is when they come to play and that is, if Enzo uses his second ability and the enemy whom he has chained is inside the smaller circle, only then he will be able to toss the enemy above his head. If the enemy is farther away, he will not be able to toss him and instead it will say no target. So just like I've told you before, Enzo's ultimate only becomes available if he manages to chain an enemy. And if you use his ultimate, he will dash through the enemy target and go behind him, dealing damage to all the enemies in the path and also he takes 50% lesser damage when he gets attacked during the dash. Now, let's go back to the two circles that come when Enzo uses his second ability and there is a bigger circle right. That circle indicates the range to which he can use his ultimate. So, if 
the enemy whom he has chained is inside that bigger circle enzo will be able to dash through the enemy but if the enemy is farther behind it will again say no target and you have to go closer to use your ultimate on him so even though the abilities of enzo are not very complicated compared to other heroes in the game he is still hard to play because you have to use the abilities in a proper sequence in order to be effective with him now you all know that enzo's second ability gives him increased movement speed right so you can abuse this by using it when you are rotating through the jungle to increase your movement speed and if you cancel the ability instead of throwing it half of the cooldown gets returned so it really comes in handy now enzo is a hero with a lot of cool mechanics and you can make a lot of outplays with him so for example if you are being chased by the enemies and you are trying to escape and if you find a creep you can use your second ability on a creep and then dash through it easily and while jungling he is one of the fastest junglers because his abilities have very low cooldown and he has a lot of attack damage compared to other assassins in the game so he can also use his second ability and go through walls he can also use his second ability to increase his movement speed making him very effective at jungling enzo's ultimate also has another passive and that is if enzo kills an enemy hero his attack speed will increase by 75% and his movement speed will increase by 70% which will fade over the next 5 seconds so these are all the basic abilities of enzo now let's move on to the advanced combos of enzo and i'll be giving you guys a lot of tips on how to use his abilities in pro proper sequence watch carefully this is the basic combo of enzo use your second ability to hook onto a target first once you've successfully landed your second ability Use your first ability to pull the target closer to you inside the small circle. And now, since the target is inside your smaller circle, you can use your second ability again to toss them above your head and behind you. Since this is very important, I'll repeat it once again to you guys. Use your second ability to hook onto the target and then use your first ability to pull the target closer to you and inside the small circle and then you can toss the target above your head. and finish them off with your ultimate so this is the combo at normal speed so now let me show you guys what happens if you do the combo wrong so let's just say that you were successfully able to use your second ability and chain on to an enemy now if you use your ultimate you will dash towards the enemy and go behind him so you are basically throwing yourself in between all the enemies so if you are entering a team fight and you use your second ability and hit a marksman and then if you use your ult and go towards them and behind him you will literally be standing in the middle of all the enemies and you will die easily and there are chances you might even go under their tower so never do it always try to pull the enemy towards you and toss them above you into your team and never die directly into the enemy team with your ultimate so this is something that would never happen if you do the combo properly now try to imagine this scenario there are four enemies standing in front of you and their marksman is also there so you use your second ability and you manage to hook their marksman now if you do the combo properly you will be able to toss the marksman above your head behind you and now if you use your ult you will dash away from the rest of the enemy team and you will take this marksman separately and you can kill them there right so that's the best combo and that combo will never put you in the middle of four people so as long as you do the combo right you should be able to pick up a target and finish them off easily so that's just the basic combo of enzo and you have to change the combo depending upon the scenario now pay very close attention to what i do here i use my second ability and hook on to valheim and as you can see yana is coming from behind me so i can't fight yana now i have to kill valheim first so instead of tossing valheim behind me i use my ult and go towards him and finish him off and then i can go and try to kill dirac right here if i tossed valheim behind me yana would be able to help him so in this scenario using your second ability to toss him behind is not good 
Now here is another scenario for you guys. I use my second ability and hook on to Gildur. And since Butterfly is attacking me, I use my ult to go away from her behind Gildur and then toss him behind me so that I can finish him off separately and then run away. So this is what I meant when I said you have to change your combo depending upon the scenario. Here we killed Verus and then Alistair uses his ultimate on us and we have very low HP left so what I do is I hook Alistair and then throw him away from Mina and then use my ult to run away from Mina. So as you just saw there Mina tried to hook me with her second ability but she missed because I used Alistair to get, get away from her while also getting a kill. Here is one last scenario for you guys. Here we are trying to kill the slims and I successfully managed to use my second ability and chain onto him. Now instead of throw him, throwing him back immediately, I use my ult and go towards him and then I let him walk towards his tower so that I can toss him above my head and behind me. So if I use my S2 immediately, I would have helped him by throwing him into his tower and he would have escaped. One very important thing you should know when you are playing Enzo is that he also deals a lot of damage from his normal attacks. So instead of just using your abilities all the time, you have to use some normal attacks also to boost your damage because you have Omni Arms in your build. So after using every ability, try to use one normal attack. This will help you kill the enemies very fast. If you watch closely, in all these clips, I will be using normal attacks simultaneously with my abilities. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.